Hello guys and welcome to the section on identity based and resource based policy. So uh, what is this policy? So as we have seen earlier, there are uh, there were roles, right? So roles has a set of permissions that comes through policies, right? So we'll talk about that policy document in our hands on session. But uh, just as a theory, we understand here that there are two sets of policy. One is identity based policy. Another is resource based policies, right? So identity based policies are basically inline policies which can be attached to user groups or it can be attached to roles, roles as well right so we'll see one hands-on in which what we'll do we'll have create one user who will have access only to the s3 buckets and s3 resource and they he cannot access any other aws resource right so and so how do we create the permission for that user so that he can only see s3 buckets right so let's move on to the hands-on section So now uh, we are in the AWS console uh, by user AWS code friends and then I log into I am go to the I am console and then I have some users here so okay I have created one code brains and code brains too so let's see code brains one so it does not have any permission so this guy if and if it's logs in it cannot do anything so there is a ARN associated with each of these users which is Amazon resource name and this is unique so we should understand how amazon gives the notations for this okay so let's add the permissions over here okay so we'll just uh, select one existing policy what do we want basically we want to give uh, s3 full access to this uh, guy codebrains1 right so we'll search this s3 full access policy right? but uh, we'll see what is this s3 full access policy document looks like right so so this is the policy document okay and it's a json structure we could see uh, it has a name key value pairs and here you have a statement which is basically an array and here you have effect which tells you it's allowed it could be deny as well if you want to deny action is s3 and all the actions are allowed on this s3 resource is a star that everything inside s3 is having the functions right so uh, we'll attach this policy right so add permission then so okay this user now can see s3 it should not be able to see any other things right so let's log in with the user quickly okay log back in so we put code brains one and we put our password okay let's go to s3 so you are in code brains one and we'll see the s3 service and we could see that there is a bucket i could see this bucket and when i had put one object inside that bucket so blocks.tst i'm able to see that okay let's um, see what all other aws services this guy can access so let's click on ec2 right so so what do you think guys so basically we given only access to s3 right so will he be able to see any instances running right so if any sort of instances are running so this guy should not be able to see because we didn't give any permission for a code brains one to see any instances right so basically we get one error right you are not authorized to perform this operation that's what i want to show you that how do we attach this uh, uh, policy to a user so we this way we can attach to group as well and uh, a role as well right so let's move on to the next section which talks about resource based policies so resource resource based policies so what happens uh, in this policy so as we saw that in policy document we had something called effect and a statement and inside that we had effect tab we had action we had resource right there is one more extra tag you will find in the resource based policy that is called principle right so these policies are basically applied on the aws resource itself so uh, let's suppose you have an AWS uh, S3 bucket and you want that bucket only to be accessible by one of the IAM user, right? And you don't want to be accessible by another IAM user. So what kind of policy you will mention in that bucket, right? So you have to mention that bucket policy. And this is what we'll uh, see in the hands-on with the same example. We'll make uh, a deny for one of the IAM user and we'll see how we have to create this resource-based policy. 
okay the only difference that i could i i i could we could see that in the identity based policy and resource based policy is the principle right so principle here we have to mention right to which entity it belongs to whereas in identity based policy it is attached to user so it, that is the one which has permissions right so it is permission is attached to an identity itself right so let's move on and uh, the things will be clear when we see the hands on okay. so let's log in with aws code brains and uh, And we'll go to the IM. Okay, so we have users, and both these users has policy for S3 full access. Okay, so I have code branch one, code branch two has full access policy, right? So you could, they both can see S3, S3 basically, right? So we'll go to S3. Okay, what we'll do, we'll create a bucket policy for this uh, uh, bucket. Okay, so we go to permissions and this is how we assign resource based policy. So it is on the resource AWS S3. How do we generate this JSON document, right? So we have a AWS policy generator. This is uh, the URL. So I want to deny for let's suppose code branch 2. Okay, so I need to give a principle as, as I told uh, in my lecture, right? We need a principle in resource based policy. So we go, sorry guys. Uh, Okay, so I should copy this uh, here, and this is the principle, right? So, yeah, and uh, I want to deny everything actually, and we should give the bucket ARN as well. So, how do we find the bucket ARN? So, we go to this and mm -hmm. Let me just copy this ARN, okay, and uh, sorry, and then put it in this here. You add a statement. Okay, uh, okay, I have added twice. Sorry. So, okay, so generate the policy. So you could see that um, it's this policy generator helps in generating this JSON very easily. And what we see here, S3 deny and resources um, code brains test. That is the bucket name. And for which user code brains two, right? So let's copy this. Okay, and close this off, and we'll go to this. Um, Again, we have to put this in the bucket policy basically so that uh, this bucket can deny uh, for the code prints to user, right? And let's save it. Right, so everything is fine. Okay, so let's log out. And we'll sign in with um, code prints 2 now. Code prints 2. Okay, and we'll go to S3. So this is code brains too. And here you see error, so we don't know now. Because this guy is denied from the bucket policy, right? So even this guy has full access for Amazon S3, right? So as we have mentioned in the policy document that this guy has full access, but it has been denied from the bucket policy. So there is a, there is a one deny then everything is denied that we have to remember and that was an explicit deny from the bucket policy right but if you go back to code brains one okay because that guy was not denied and it it also has full access for s3 that guy should be able to see this bucket as well as contents right that's the expectation so let's uh, see so it goes to S3 right? and here you are able to see the bucket and we could see the logs.txt file as well, right? So this guy is having full access and it's not been denied from the bucket policy as well, right? So this is what is resource-based policy, guys. Uh, I hope uh, you have understood this part. Okay, if you want to do this uh, uh, lecture again, please uh, uh, review this lecture. It's very important to understand how what is this policy uh, you can be, see this aws policy generator as well and you can do some uh, hands on as on this as well right so i'll see you in the next uh, lecture okay thanks